Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be using this trinket mold that I got. I haven't used it so this is the first time sort of testing it out and I'm going to put in some of these pressed poppies that I got from my garden. This is actually the second time I'll be using flowers and resin. The first time I used fresh flowers but this is the first time trying out dried pressed flowers. This is the resin that I'm using. I got it from Amazon, so I'll leave a link in the description if you would also like to buy it. However, all the instructions are actually in German on the bottle, but they did include this English version in a leaflet. So basically the ratio I'm using is two resin to one hardener. So I went in to pour my resin and for some bizarre reason I decided to do 36 grams. I don't know why I didn't go up to 40, but anyway, when I poured in my hardener, I actually added way too much. It was meant to be 18 grams, not however much I poured here. So I basically just added in some more resin to make up the ratio. I made sure to stir it really well for three minutes and then I set it aside. So whilst I was just letting it rest and let all the air bubbles come out, I cleaned my mold with a little bit of tape. I'm really glad I did. I made sure to get the sides because I'm gonna show you what it looks like and there's so much dust on it. It's crazy. So I'm really glad that that wasn't in my resin. <laughs> I poured this first layer into the mold and it came up to about the middle. I thought I would have enough resin to cover this top section, but I didn't. Um, I probably should have made a little bit more, but you can see here that I'm sort of scraping the resin to the edge. This didn't work at all, but you'll see that later on in the video how I fixed it. And then I just added two leaves to the edges. I used a popsicle stick just to help push the leaves down and make sure that they were covered in resin. And then once I was happy with how this layer looked, I let it cure for 24 hours. I also put a plastic tub on the top just to stop any dirt and dust from getting into the resin. So I came back the next day and it was time to peel off that horrendous layer of resin that just didn't work. And let me tell you, this was so satisfying. So for the second layer of resin, I'm mixing together 40 grams of resin and 20 grams of hardener. Again, making sure I mix this for three minutes and I then let it just rest for about two. I poured this all in and then I just used my popsicle stick again just to release any air bubbles and make sure that the resin was touching the sides. Now it was time to add in the poppy. My hands were shaking so much because I really didn't want the poppy to break. It was really light and delicate, but it went in really nicely. I also added in some other leaves and poppy pods, I think they're called. I just made the design look nice and moved them around a bit. And then once I was happy with how it looked, I let it cure for 24 hours. So I put a poll up on my Instagram to help decide what to make the base and 70% of voters decided to just have plain resin with gold glitter, so that's what I went with. When I opened up the glitter, so much more came out of it than I was anticipating, so the resin sort of turned out way more glitterily glitterly glittery than I really wanted it to but I think actually the end result it turned out quite nice I mean 
for all you glitter lovers out there, isn't this just beautiful? I could have sat here stirring this for literally hours. But anyway, I poured this layer in and again let this cure for 24 hours. It was then time to demould and I don't know if anybody else is the same but this is the most nerve wracking part of any resin project for me but it's also my favourite. I love demoulding resin stuff so I don't know, let me know in the comments if anyone else is the same. So this is what the dish looks like. Like I said earlier in the video, when the glitter just sort of exploded, I really didn't know how it was going to turn out like. In my head, I had a completely different idea, but I think I kind of love it. I don't know, let me know what you think down in the comments. I love that when you look at the top, you can see the glitter from the bottom, but they're not on the sides. I think it's just really cool to see something different at sort of every angle that you look. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.